Hello, I'm your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Now, the last time my game sadly crashed, uh, so I had to restart this mission. But I can assure you that I did everything the way I did it the first time, including taking this man's clothes. Now, what I want is to go back up on the 7th floor to uh, get the briefcase that is supposed to be exchanged with the Sheikh. What I'm planning to do is to place a bomb in there to kill the Sheikh with an explosion. And that's pretty much all I have to do in this mission, still. So uh, that shouldn't take too long. Uh, though right now, I think something else that I have to do is to get the videotape of the uh, surveillance cameras just for the sake of getting a better rating at the end of the mission. So that's something else that I'm going to do. So here we go. Blaze a mine. And take the briefcase. And now we are going down to the lobby. And carry out our assassination. Though really I'm kind of the sound was just stuttering somehow for some reason. Uh, but as I wanted to say, uh, I'm kind of wondering maybe there is a better way to go about killing the shake. Explosions, as cool as they might be, are not exactly known for being subtle. Uh, but I don't remember there being another way, and I've played this game a few times. You know, <coughs> it's kind of the thing about this let's play, in uh, comparison to the other ones I made this far. This game is a game I'm actually good at, or at least kind of decent at. Now admittedly, uh, mostly this game is about knowing what you have to do. So basically, if you have a decent plan for each level, you're not going to have too many problems. So I guess being good at it is not really something to be proud of. But what can I say? Uh, what I can say is that I want to go in here and retrieve the videotape. Now there is one single guard in here. And I was just thinking, should I throw a coin or shouldn't I? And so I chose the worst possible option. <laughs> By just throwing it somewhere where it won't help me at all. Because I am such a professional. Yeah. What I'm wondering is, I probably can't just sneak in there, yeah. So that means I have to throw that coin. He's going to stand up. I take care of not being seen. And then I just casually take that videotape. And then he sees me. So that didn't go too well. Uh, see you in a minute. I think I can actually just do it like that. See, he doesn't see me even though I'm right next to him. Uh, that is really silly. But nonetheless, it worked. So which grounds would I have to complain, right? So let's take the briefcase and bring it to our last target. Uh, he's down in the casino. So here we go. We don't have to worry about the cameras in here anymore. So that is most definitely good. Uh, there doesn't really seem to be anything else down here. At least if I remember correctly, uh, the exit is somewhere nearby. But where we want to go is the bar. And that's where we are. 
Uh, just to be perfectly safe, going to make another save here. I don't think I should need another one in this episode. Uh, so I don't have to worry about wasting them. Not like I ever did worry about wasting them, let's be honest here. Hello, can I go through? You have to search me first. Well, I shouldn't have anything incriminating on me. So go ahead and search me. Great. So here I am. Uh, the question one has to ask now is, where's the shake? And the answer to that is, well, right here. You are Hendrik Schmutz. Yes, Sheikh Mohammed. The man, Ejlib al Almas. The merchandise will be inspected before payment is delivered. It is merely prudence. Of course you understand. Of course. Oh, wait. He's going to find a bomb, isn't he? Well, it just means I have to be fast. So, here I go. Uh, that might mean that I'm not going to... survive. Yes, that's, that's exactly what it means. Uh, is there a better way to go about this? Let me think about it. So, see you in a minute. I think a smart idea might just be to drop it without handing it up. That's not what I wanted to do, but... Okay. Okay, no, um... That's not what I wanted to do. Because what I wanted to do... was something else. Uh, I'm just wondering, is he going to find a bomb? If he inspects the thing. Uh, but as it would appear like, they're only going to check if it's the right briefcase. So... Maybe I should just wait and see what happens. I definitely couldn't kill him right now. Not while I am still nearby. So that means I have to wait for... someone who is about to come by. And someone who is apparently going to bring something that I need. Or at least want. So I guess I'm going to make a cut here and I'm going to see you when something happens. Oh right, I think the best way to do this is to just throw in the briefcase. By which I don't mean quite like that. Uh, but more like that. Uh, maybe not. Though I think it should be close enough, but... Now it definitely is. Now that we have thrown it in, we can go through here. And quite shortly after that, just detonate it. And seeing how the exit is quite nearby, uh, that should work out just fine. Now did that kill him? Is what I'm asking. Yes, it did. And using the confusion that it generated, we can flee. And even though they are probably out on the hunt for us, I think we should still be able to finish the mission. Just like that. Though I suppose our rating is not going to be very good, because explosions... Well... What can you say? Yeah, um, our rating is pretty bad, totally going to admit that, but uh, 
I am not very good at this mission. <laughs> uh, the smart thing to do here, I suppose, would have been to just snipe him be shortly after he's leaving his car. At least I think so, I never really find a satisfying way to end this mission. But I'm quite confident that I'm going to do better in the next one. So what can I say? I think for today I'm going to call it quits. So as you all know, I'm your German snob. This is Let's Play Hitman Blood Money and I'm going to be seeing you again. Well, probably not tomorrow because... Just um, a little fun fact on the side. Tomorrow is going to be my birthday. <laughs> not that that has any significance to anything. Uh, but I'm going to be seeing you... The day after tomorrow, probably. So until then, have a wonderful time and goodbye.